do you hate us? R- wrong Dang. sequence of events. <laughs> it's your first day, Dan. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. And hello to everybody who did not forget to wash their hair in the shower this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't Dan. And not named Dan. <laughs> not named and Dan. And not named Dan. Um, somehow I took a shower this morning and completely forgot to wash my hair and couldn't figure out why it felt so weird when I was drying it and had to come home from work early to take a second shower so I could properly wash my hair. And don't worry, I washed it twice. To make up for the missing shampoo. I conditioned it and everything. You were pretty scruff muffiny this morning. I don't know what happened. I, I'm on autopilot in the morning. I'm not awake in the morning until like three quarters of the way through my shower. So I'm blaming that. But I take a shower literally every single day and I've never forgotten to shampoo. Somehow today I forgot to shampoo. Go figure. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are we making today? I'm excited. Today we're making Georgia pralines. Oh. Um, apparently most of you have never had them. Um, don't know if you've heard of them, so you've all heard of praline pecan, ice cream pecan, praline. I don't know which way it goes. Praline pecan, pecan, praline, ice cream. Everybody's had that, right? Heard of it at least? It's right. like old people ice cream? Yeah, it's like old yeah. people ice cream. Yeah, old totally. Uh, 63% have never had them. 29% like them. 6% do not. So this is Georgia pralines, which is like a little candy. It's uh, sort of like caramelly, but... Not sticky and stretchy, more like crumbly and dry. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, Bradley says hi. He's dressed up as Blippy and wants you to see. Aw, Sandy sent me a picture so I can see. Hi, Bradley. I can't wait to come see you in the summertime. I'm excited for that. Um, how is everybody doing tonight? Good. Not, yeah, we not, much, not much chat going. We have a studio uh, audience. We do. <laughs> there, there is a wild Terry here tonight. She'll, she'll make an appearance at some point. We're going to start on some Georgia pralines. So this is a pretty quick and easy recipe. I usually make cookies and, and I don't want to say cakes because you know how I feel about cakes. Um, but this is actually a candy recipe and it's an easy one. You don't need a candy thermometer. You can't really screw it up. It's really easy. Yes? Um, how come it's pecans if it's pralines? Do they ch- change to pralines when they're... There, I, I think praline is reference to the candy part. Yes, I should have looked into this more. So but pralines is pralines is like what you put on the outside. A praline is not the actual nut. The oh. can is the nut. Oh, okay. Well, so, I, I knew that. You could have a cashew praline or a peanut praline. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes, Hannah confirming it is super easy. I sent my uh, Christmas cookie package over to Hannah at Christmas time. She was the lucky winner, and she had them and immediately asked for the recipe and made them herself. That's how good they are, you guys. You're not going to want to miss this. All right, let's see. Little baby Blippi. Oh, my God, he's so adorable. Can we get this camera, please, Dan? Uh, no, no, we can't. That camera has locked up. Has it? Oh, yeah, okay. I got nothing. Oh. Sorry, give me a second. Look at... Little Bradley Blippy. <laughs> He's so freaking adorable. I love you, Bradley. Um, also knows the words to Boss DJ, and for that, I extra love him. All right, guys, let's get started. This recipe is so easy. There's like six ingredients, and the recipe is this long. So easy. Are we working it? Are we working oh, no, it? No. Oh, well, well, we don't need it for a while. All right. So we're going to mix some stuff in a pot. We're going to boil it on the stove. We're going to mix some other stuff into it. And then we're going to blob it onto a pan. Super easy. Super, super easy, guys. Okay, so it's going to be brown sugar, whipping cream, and butter that we're going to bring to a boil. It's going to be a cup of brown sugar. Steve is here. Hello, Steve. Thank you for joining us. I wonder what happened to this camera. (laughs) Is your stove cam working? Yeah. My stove cam will be okay. I just opened new brown sugar and there's already clumps in it. All right, I got I got it back now. Yeah, do you know what you're doing? Can, Have no fear, everybody. We... Technical issues is here. <laughs> can we see this better? It's so cute. Yes. It's freaking adorable. I love it. He looks like a little old man. He does. Huh? <laughs> it's really cute. All right, I got some clumps in here, so bear with me while I try to squeeze them out. Brand new brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Helen with the super chat with Sexy Pear. You know that's my favorite. Hello, Helen. Glad you could join us, and thank you so much for the support. Ugh, Brittany's running late for work. Put down the vape pen and brush your hair, friend. Get out of the house. Put down the vape pen. (laughs) You just assume? I mean, come on. (laughs) It's Brittany. (laughs) Technical issues is part of the appeal. Is it, though? Is it appealing, Steve? I don't know what happened. It's... you know what locked up is that USB uh, that USB strip that you graciously yep. sent me. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, but I fixed it, so you're welcome. I think all my clumps are gone now. Nice. 
But now I have brown sugar under my fingernails. <laughs> All right, to this we are going to add a quarter cup of butter. Uh, Todd Donaldson says Dan's voice is amazing. I paid him 20 bucks to say that. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Dan. It smells good. It smells brown sugary. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, I can smell the brown sugar. All right, let's get the whipping cream out. Steve said it's the voice of an angel. <laughs> I think Steve might have a crush on you. Maybe. Wait, that's the old milk. It's still good. I gotta use up the old one first. Okay. I just started using it last weekend. Um, I made another round of scones and the the mock clotted cream because I really wanted some of that mock clotted cream. Scones are, they're good. They're, they're fine. I really wanted that mock cl clotted cream that's like a whipped cream, but it's amazing. I don't, I'm not a fan of whipped cream at all. That stuff is amazing. So I, I made more of that with some whipping cream. How come it just depends on, like, it's still the same milk, but yet you'll drink it if it's in a cup. You'll drink it if it's soured, but if it's whipped, you're like, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> like um steve says he cuddled you <laughs> do you not we cuddled oh um, he he saved my life after i fell on the ground i did see that on ice no one else has yet no so i guess i owe him a life debt like chewbacca so i guess i could be his chewbacca <laughs> i'm not really sure what i can be his chewbacca means but because okay. he saved my life but dan i've never seen a star wars i owe him a life I have debt. A chewbacca see <laughs> chewbacca hangs out with han solo not because he wants to but because he owes him his life. So it's an obligation. Oh. I bet you didn't know that. I did not you know that. You thought they were kicking back getting late night Taco Bell. I didn't really know they hung out. And they really couldn't be more I don't opposite. know who's on the dark side and who's not. It's, you know, it varies. It varies. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, Han Solo and Chewie had nothing in common, if you think about it. One was, you know, busy trying to, trying to romance Princess Leia, and the other one had dingleberries all the time. Moving on. Uh, Prey Under the Water wants to know, am I the only one who thinks that batter is a bit better than normal cakes? No, you are not. Um, not the best, biggest fan of cake batter, but cookie dough, I'm all about it. I know Sandy is with me on this one because last time she came out here and I was making cookies, she asked if I could save her a little bit of cookie dough, and I absolutely brought her a little Tupperware full of cookie dough because I'm all about that life. It's okay. Good. If, if we were about to get Pompeyed, I would eat <laughs> so much cookie dough. So that way, when I got Pompeyed, like they'd find <laughs> whole cookies in my stomach years later when they came Wait, and chiseled me out. Cookies plural, as if as if they're going well, to like stay separated in your right, stomach. Right. So I, I'm I'm swallowing I'm swallowing Pillsbury and it's all raw in there. I get Pompeyed. <laughs> By the way, I decided my Pompeii pose was in behalf of the Pee Wee Herman dance. So I'm which, in my, which half? This the front half. So I'm in my Pompeii pose. Right. Are they gonna know that's the Pee Wee Herman dance? They will after they do the research. <laughs> so after they find the like the Rosetta civilization stuff. has collapsed, but they found Dan's body and yes. an old video of Pee Wee so, Herman dancing. But because I ate so much uncookied dough, like it hasn't been cookied yet, <laughs> uncookied you know, dough. Which we decided cookies are just you know cake toast, and so I ate all the raw dough. I get Pompeii. Now I change it. I want to walk like an Egyptian. I get Pompeii. They dig <laughs> me out better. years later, um, and they can't figure Egypt. out how whole cookies were ingested into me without me eating them. And then I'm some sort of like, some like cookie guy. The missing cookie link? Yeah, right, because they don't know how the cookies got in my stomach. That's it. That's Dan, it. Everybody. Can we please always keep cookie dough around just in case we get Pompeii? Sure. Thanks. From the volcano that Thanks, is. Dan, everybody. I think the closest volcano is two states away. Right, and so it we, already erupted. We have time. We have time. <laughs> is a volcano, technically. But is it going to erupt? That's the real question. Uh, Cyber Husky suggesting that you swallow your memory card so there's proof. I did actually. It, it, <laughs> it actually, uh, yeah, I would swallow my memory card. I was, if I go down on any plane or anything, please check the body for the memory card. I will make sure to let them know. Yeah. During the autopsy, please let me know if you swallow the yeah, memory card. it's the micro SD card, but I, I will gotcha. swallow it. Gotcha. You better hope you don't survive and have to pass it and then dig through your poo for it. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> would it, though? Uh, yeah. Would it? That would be great. Like, here's my trip. Okay, moving on. Back to reality. <laughs> um, so once this boils, we're going to add a cup of powdered sugar. So I'm going to get that ready so I don't have to measure it out when it is time to add it. Dan, is your phone on vibrate? It is. <laughs> it. Thanks for checking. 
I mean, it is now, like you said it. Like, it wasn't, but now it is. <laughs> he never remembers to silence his phone. We're gonna need, like, before the music... When the music cuts off before the show starts, but the mics are hot, can we have some sort of, like, please turn your phones on silent? No? Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> Do we need it to come up, like, like, like when they bullied us at the movie theater? Right? <laughs> they bullied us. There the was more reminders to shut your phone off than there were trailers. Don't be a bleep! Shut your phone off! <laughs> For it's like, though. they were, they were. They were like, you're a loser anyway, and you came to the movie theater, and you couldn't even afford it. Shut your phone off. They're like taking digs at me, and like I didn't even do anything. They're all still live at home. I'm like, yeah. Shut your phone off. <laughs> and it's like, it was so weird. But it was. Thank you. I miss Front Row Joe, half dress. Oh, that's just a kind of shush. All right, so I'm just going to kind of blend this a little bit before I put it on the heat. There you go. I bet that tastes so good. <laughs> I bet it does. Terry, you can come taste it. We can't taste it yet. You have to get past that. All right. Can we still can we man? Yes. I don't know which burner you're set up for. Uh, just go for it. I'll figure it out. 50% of the time this game does not light. I'm set for this burner right here. Dan, stop moving the camera. <laughs> All right, so we're going to boil this over medium heat, stirring constantly, uh, and boil it for about one minute. So bring it to a boil, and then keep it going for about a minute. Yeah, that works first. Yeah. You have to help out with the chat oh, though, because yeah. I don't have it over here. No, but I do get you. I did get you a mic. Thanks, Dan. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. There. Okay, so now you now there's a mic there, so you can uh, do that. All right. Um, Real exciting stuff here, guys. We're just stirring it just to make sure that it doesn't burn. Waiting for that butter to melt and for it to come to a boil. Put your finger. It's not melted in there. How's that chat going, Dan? Oh, good. Now, how will we find the cards in Dan's body? Oh, not my problem. Find the what? <laughs> when, the, when the cards in Dan's body. Yeah, not my problem. I've seen... Um, like they, they can do an autopsy. Maybe they have a metal detector. Is there metal in it? Uh, yeah, there is. Well, there you go. Uh, Dan, getting mobbed by Kira Memphis and L on the Gone of the Snow Dogs was funny. Yeah, they were super happy to see me. Mm -hmm. They were such good dogs on the trip. Uh, Crystal. Damn. Sam wants to know, are you sure that's vanilla and not almond extract? <laughs> I am sure. Thank you. Um, did I tell you guys I found a um, wax melt that smells exactly like almond extract? And you know I bought it. You know I bought it. And you know my kitchen now smells like almond extract. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of one of my favorite smells. Um, Husky Mom Bronico said, looks yummy. It does. Uh, Christine says, I just got here. What's in the pan? <laughs> Right now it is brown sugar, heavy whipping cream, and butter. Once this comes to a boil and boils for a minute, then we are going to add powdered sugar and vanilla. Sounds good. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Literally, oh shit, you know what I forgot to do? Hold on, you guys, I forgot the first step because it wouldn't be getting baked with crystal without me forgetting the first step. I have to toast the pecans. No, oh, no. That's fine, this wasn't boiling yet. We'll just leave that there until we're ready. Oven goes to 350, and we're going to put a cup of pecans. I even told myself in my head, like, that's your first step. Make sure you start with this first step. And then the pot was in front of me, and then there I was. Yeah, it sounds like the pot was in front of you, all right? <laughs> Shut your mouth. Uh, I'd say Mr. Danny Dale's here. Happy Friday. Hello, Mr. Danny Dale. Um, the gaming ham says, looks like fudge. Not quite. But I would take some fudge right now. That sounds good. Uh, Steve says, oh, I meant to suggest strawberry rhubarb dessert at some point on the show. I am not opposed to that. Where does one find a rhubarb in I Southern California? Us, I can get us fresh rhubarb. Yeah, just like out at the store? I know a dealer. Oh, okay. You got a rhubarb dealer? Oh, this is too big. Hold on. I really should have had this ready. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Okay. What you doing? Tan's got a rhubarb guy. Apparently so. First I heard of it. Those ones you keep in the clutch, man. Alright, so 
The recipe calls for chopped pecans, and then it tells you to chop the pecans. So I'm not really sure what they're looking for here. I usually leave them pretty big, but not the like super big whole pieces like this. I'll just kind of break them. But I don't want to put them in the uh, food processor and turn them into dust. So I just kind of break them up with my hands. A Dan should try eating fresh uncooked rhubarb. I think I had some at Jess's house. They were growing some at the farm. And I did think I got it, but I don't know, because like the top of it's like toxic. And then you can only eat the rhubarb shaft. So Just the shaft? Yeah, if you try to eat the, sh the shaft, shaft on, and the leaves, you'll get sick. But if you just eat its shaft, then I think you're good. Can good I have know. one of those? That sounds like one. pretty good life advice, Dan. <laughs> Just eat the shaft. Just eat the shaft. Yeah. We're going to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh, Helen. Helen says, yeah, Dan, shut your mouth. I love it when she tells you that, Dan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I Helen. I love it when I get to tell you that. Helen loves to tell me I have to quit my day, day job when I try to sing <laughs> in videos. I love her for that. Dan. Much like when I make Snickers cookies, the more of these you eat, the fewer there are for the snacks. All right. Here. <gasps> yes. Get out of here. <clears throat> Thank you. You know there's like a whole bag in there, right? They're Besides expensive. Besides this, they are. That's why I only make them once a year. Uh, my Life's Wicked Adventure says, not a pecan fan at all. You know what it is, you're not old enough. <laughs> is that the problem? Yeah, it's for old people. That's why you like them, Dan. <coughs> All right, I think we're pretty good here. So we want to throw these in the oven at 350 for eight to 10 minutes until they're toasted and fragrant. But my oven's not heated up yet. So we're just gonna hang out and uh, play with pecans. What else is going on, guys? Hannah, I saw that you have a booth at the uh, flea market. Yeah. Good job. As somebody who has sold my craftables at a, what was it? It was like a craft fair. I've gone to a couple of different ones, let me tell you something. Don't be discouraged if people don't buy your stuff. I'm gonna tell you that right there. It does not mean your stuff's not good. People are like, not, like why would you go to a place and not wanna spend money? Like people do their laps and nobody buys anything. And then they talk about how cute your things are. And then if you're lucky, you break even if you had to pay a booth fee. So don't be disappointed, but I hope you sell a bunch of your stuff because your stuff's amazing. My advice is make friends with everybody that has a booth there. Yes, get them to buy your stuff. Or no, just like <laughs> learn. Learn, yes. where, learn where they're going next. Learn if they do well there. Like, you do well here? Or like, like, just kind of pick the brains of the other people that do booths. Yes. Ask them for advice. Like, you got any booth tips? <laughs> booth tips? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty disappointed. Um, I did it a few times, and I think one time we spent more money to get there and back because it was in Arizona, and the other time we barely, after two of us shared the money, uh, we had to pay for the booth and barely made enough to break even. I think we made like a dollar more each. It was kind of disappointing. I did the math. I have to sell 12 items to break even. Well, good luck to you. And I hope that you are able to do it. I really, really am. I but don't be okay. beat yourself up if you can't. I think you'll be good. It's par for the uh, course. Where is Mooch? I don't know. I don't know. I fed him right before we started and then he ran off. Who knows? He, maybe he didn't like pecans either. Uh, who is the other voice that I'm hearing? That is my bestie, Terry. She's over on the other side. Here she comes. She'll come make an appearance. That's a wild Terry. Wild Terry sighting. That's my bestie for like 25 plus years. <laughs> way, way too yeah. long. High school. Since yes. High school. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Awesome. So she's here hanging out. Mm -hmm. um, and she gets, she gets to taste the Georgia pralines. Yay. What else is going on here? I'm a crafter just trying to figure out what to sell. That's the hard part, trying to figure out like the market what that's out there and what people are going to want to purchase, getting yourself out there. It's There's a lot to it. I'm thinking of an Etsy store for my business slash hobby. Do it. Do it. Uh, hi, everybody. I see you guys <laughs> saying hi. I'm starting to chat right now. Yay. Um, Hannah says, I have my Etsy all set up. It helped get the ball rolling. Hannah, unsolicited advice I've been wanting to tell you. Um, also, everybody, it's IE. Terry, IE. It's okay. <laughs> no, I'm very offended for her. <laughs> Even though there's 15 million ways to spell Terry, it's IE. Get it right. And it's not short for anything. Um, <laughs> uh, so, Hannah, I wanted to give you some unsolicited advice. Here's what I think you should do. I think you should make an Instagram page for your stuff. 
and then photograph it. And then when you photograph, like, this this is the random stuff I think of when I'm laying in bed at night. I think of, like, how can Hannah promote her Etsy store? Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why I think of these things. So, like, say you're going to take a picture of your apple pie candle. Put a slice of apple pie next to it. Or, like, some apples. Something that, like, ties in so visually you know what it is right off the bat. Because your stuff visually looks amazing, but you need some, like, like pizzazz to it so make your instagram page start taking pictures of your stuff put some pictures up there go follow other people that make soap and candles and then go comment and like their things <laughs> so you kind of like put yourself out there and then people go check out your page this is how it's done friend give it a shot <laughs> my last week of adventure says sorry terry <laughs> oh sally says sorry terry too <laughs> now you know Uh, Hannah says, yeah, I need to be better about my photos. Oh, you and me both, friend. Have you seen my Instagram page? I do not take good food photos. I, in theory, I know how to do it. I read stuff. People tell me stuff. I know how to do it. I don't have the patience. I set it all up on a plate and I'm like, good enough. I don't care. I, I like my colorful plate. There's my food on it. You get the point, right? Right? Uh, Husky Mom Brodico says, also reels. Like you making your soaps. Yes, that's a brilliant idea as well. Reels do really well. Like, really, really well, especially if you do the uh, click the button to have it go to Facebook as well. Let me throw this in here. When I do reels on the cats page, I get way more eyes on them than I do just a photo. Even though, you know, I hashtag the hell out of everything, you get way more eyes on a reel. It'll also go to Facebook um, and be suggested in uh, like things. You know, when somebody's looking at things similar to that. Wow, your oven preheats fast. I guess it does, huh? That was pretty quick. Um, I have some cat reels. One of them, my mom's cat, got like over 38,000 views. Insane. Absolutely insane. So yes, do reels. Utilize reels. Absolutely. Make sure you click the button to post the reel to your, your page as well. Get that stuff out there. What is a reel? I don't use social media really at all. So what is that? A uh, short video. That's all. It's reels, like movie reels. Just just a little short video. For some reason, those do way better. And I think it, uh, TikTok's to blame for that because it'll just put a video up there and then you watch that video and you scroll to the next one, scroll to the next one, scroll to the next one. If you don't use social media very much, maybe you don't do that, but I'm sure you know somebody who does that and just just click through all the videos. And it's short attention span theater these days, you guys. Everybody just wants like instant gratification. Let's show me the thing, put some text up on the screen so I can read it if I don't have the volume on. But yeah, Hannah, I know, I know you're hitting that, uh, that sophomore slump where like, yeah, look, I have a thing. And then like all your friends buy your stuff. And now you're like, now what? So start promoting. That's what you do. Start just promoting the hell out of yourself. How Hi. long do these go in the oven for? Eight to 10 minutes, Dan. We're just kind of hanging out until then. It's supposed to be very busy at the flea market tomorrow, so hopefully it goes well. I hope so, friend. Yep. Flea market. Don't forget from Pictionary. Uh, <laughs> don't like, forget. Don't forget flea market. Uh, Husky Mom Bronico says, Hannah, you can message her. She's had her own business for over six years and in two store locations. Yeah, if your town's the kind of town where you have a, uh, like a little local store, you can get a little booth there. Check that out and see if you can do that sort of thing. Some sort of like consignment or something where they'll... You know, put your stuff on the shelf and sell it for you. Uh, yes, it is like YouTube shorts. Absolutely. You got it, Lily CK. Hey. Oh, hey. Thanks, Dan, for giving me something to talk about. Have you guys seen our calendar? So we've got our calendar up for April. Obviously, tonight we're doing Georgia Pralines. Tomorrow night we're doing a episode of Dantix and episode of Dantix. Um, call in episode, so make sure you guys are ready and test your trivia knowledge and see if you can get yourself up on the board. Amanda says, oh, I see Crystal ignoring me. Fine, fine, fine. I'll see myself out. I didn't see what you said. Hold on. I lost my mouse. Dan stole my mouse. You should have it. I'm just, oh, it's on my screen. Hey, don't touch it. Okay. You see I it? see it. Yes. Okay. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, Amanda. Sometimes I start talking and then I don't read the chat and then it disappears. I don't know what you said. Are we talking about your deleted comment? I don't know. Uh, Beer and Bug says, I'm going through Underworld's back catalog. Remember you mentioned a favorite track of theirs. What was it again? <sighs> it's in my head, but I can't think of what it's called. Is it a song? It's a song. Seen it. One, two, no, 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 three, it's like techno. Four. It's like techno. No, 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 no. No, no. stop it. <laughs> Isn't that song? No, the other one. Yeah, like that song. No, no, no. Not sure. underwear. Underworld. Oh, different. Uh, is it this? Uh, Rez Cowgirl is what it's actually called. Um, 
the it, razor of love is the part that gets in my head, but I'm like, I know that's not what it's called. Um, but yes, it's um, R E Z cowgirl. That's the one. Uh, Amanda, thank you for the super chat, and I'm sorry to offend. I don't know what you said, and I missed it. I'm sorry. Please be my friend. Peace don't be in. mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, do we have some numbers on the screen? Uh, we do. I lost my okay. mouse, and I can't do anything. Um, there it is. Thank you so much to all of our members. You guys are so amazing. We appreciate every single one of you. I'd read it, but um, there's so many of you, it's so small that I can't see it from here. But lots of you have been members since pretty much we started doing the membership. And for that, we are so, so, so appreciative. And just as appreciative of each and every one of you who have just become members. If you guys don't know, you can be become a member in the community tab. You can do two different tiers. We have one tier for about five bucks a month and one tier for about 10 bucks a month. The five bucks a month gets you Early access to members' first vlogs. There should be one up soon, yes? Or did uh, you put it up today? Yes, I could have. I have to wait until Jess's Monday video comes out to put mine out because there's more footage in it. Wah, wah. Okay, so Monday it'll done. go up? Yeah, but it's done. Okay, so members, Monday, there will be a new video up. And yeah, you like, also get... There you go. Thank you, guys. You guys always come through. It was through. over 20 minutes long. Jeez, there's a long one. Um, so you guys get access as members to all those cool little emojis in the chat there. Thank you guys for putting those up there. Uh, your name will be in green. You get a little mohawk next to your name. For the $10 tier, you get access to what we forgot to record this week because we had too much else going on, but there will be a new one next week. Our uh, not a podcast audio recording in the house, me and Dan talking about whatever Probably we Tuesday, feel like talking yeah. about. Probably Tuesday, yes. So Monday, a new vlog. Tuesday, new audio recording. And uh, Dan TV stuff is up there. Totally a podcast. I'm with you, Steve. But, you know, Dan makes the names around here. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I'm looking to see if Amanda, like... Amanda, you called me out for ignoring you, and then you said nothing else. No, Did you really she, leave? because she don't play. <laughs> She's gone. She paid them. We're she not friends anymore. Leave. She's like, I'm out of here. I'm sorry. Really Dan, sorry. how's that Cadbury hot chocolate sitting right here still? <laughs> Here's the thing. It was uh, 92 degrees today, Do we have time to make some right now? Oh, I don't want hot chocolate right I'll now, Dan. I'll drink some. Dan, we're making praline pecans. We have here. 10 minutes to spare. But <laughs> we, look, it's, We don't. We have two more minutes. Get, don't you have your own show? We'll, we'll make some. Look, when we have half an hour for this to cool and we're done with it, we will make you some hot chocolate, Thank Dan. You. Uh, Beer and Bugs is somewhere I have a mashup of Cowgirl and Boys and Girls by Blur. I would be interested to check that out. Stephanie is here. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, hello. Damn sure it's a podcast. You know, take it up with Dan. Take it up with Dan. Um, my last week adventure says it's 105 degrees here today. Yeah, we hit 92, Where? I believe. Uh, by the way, Tuesday it's going to be 58. So right. tell me what life even is. I don't know. I don't know. Stephanie says Cadbury hot chocolate is good, but not as good as Milo. Hold on, Stephanie. Do you guys call it Milo or right now? Can we make some of both? Oh, I know, I know it's in here. I think it's on the top shelf. We have a container of the Milo hot chocolate. We should make them both and compare. Right, okay. We can do that. I think it's way up on the top. Uh, hey, Dan. Yeah. Speaking of podcasts, can we expect a new CC Mouse podcast anytime soon? Yeah, this coming week there'll be one for sure. Oh my gosh. A podcast and a not a podcast in the same day? In the same week? Uh, also, Zane says hi. Hello, Zane. Hello. KK wants to know is your friend Terry there? She is. Hi, she's Terry. chilling over there eating candy before she eats the candy that we're making. Yep. So she'll make an appearance. We need Terry to do a dent on our candy. Yes. We've, we've been trying to ask her to please eat some of our candy. We have so much of it. Uh, Hannah Willis says, hi, Dan. The box is in the mail. It's coming to the address in your about. Awesome. All right. Uh, we will definitely check the uh, P.O. box. We're trying to do it towards the end of the week. Forgot to do it this week. It's, it's been one of those weeks, you guys. Oh, uh, look at Lily. So, Lily C.K. on the lookout. <laughs> yes, it's spelled Terry, not Terry. <laughs> Thank you. Good looking out. Um, yes, so we'll check the uh, P.O. box before next Friday's show. We always like to open the boxes on the baking show. It just, you know, we have a counter Sorry. here. We're all like ready to go. <laughs> Stephanie, look at this. Is it expired? No, it don't matter. Barely. Barely. We're it's still a suggestion. good. We're still good. All right, so we've got Cadbury and Milo. We're asking the hard hitting questions. What is better? English chocolate or Australian chocolate? We're gonna tell you. You'll never guess what happens next. If you know history, it's probably the same thing. 
I'm sure it was off the plate. Okay, here. these are pretty right, fragrant, so I think we're good here. We're, we're good. We'll let those sit. Uh, Amanda says, I'm still here just being quiet. I was one of the first to tell Terry hi, and then you corrected her spelling, so I was on the... <laughs> I was one of the first to correct it in capital letters since you made a fuss. Oh, Amanda, I'm sorry. And your name's even green with a gold oh, mohawk, wait, so fine. I can see... And I left you hanging. I'm sorry, friend. Okay, there you go. Sorry, just came back. Please accept my sincerest apologies. Dude, you should do some sort of like emote with that about a curtsy. What's that I, curtsy? I did this. What is that? Are you covering your heart? Don't it's shoot me there. From the bottom of my heart. Jon Snow. I apologize. What? I don't know. I you just throw Jon Snow in there yeah. out of nowhere? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't like Get out of here. Crystal, we all know because all you've been talking about is Game of Thrones. That's I've, it. I've been rewatching it. Yes, my lady. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, Helen says, Hey, Dan, how do I know which membership I have? Oh. Are you getting charged four ninety nine or nine ninety nine? <laughs> I think that's the only way. See if you can see the podcast on your community. Is it on the community tab that they can see their things? Yeah, if you can see the, the I'm sorry, the audio recording in the house, then you're at the... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. Dan TV level. I don't know. It's fifteen ninety nine in Canada. Sucks for you. <laughs> Jeez, Crystal, would you be nice just to apologize to him? No. Apologize to him in his language. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, I see your comment. I do, Crystal. I'm just making a fuss. That's what we're all here for, to be seen and to make a fuss, Amanda. Love it. Uh, our spring was yesterday. Now it's winter. Oh, we're fully into summer. Don't you it worry 90, about that. It was 90 today. Oh, miserable. It's really warm in here right now with the oven on. All right, we going back to Oh, and oven? actually, I can shut the oven off because nothing else has to go in the oven. Are you going back to oven cam? I am going back to oven cam. Okay, guys, we're back here again. We're making our brown sugar uh, heavy cream and butter mixture. We're going to bring this to a boil. That works. You can see inside there. The gaming ham says it's one degree here in my part of England. Oh, my God. I would die. How do you even live when it's one degree? Inside. Right? You just don't go out. Uh, I can't read all of it. There's too many letters. Dan, help. We'll talk, oh, wait. I was supposed to turn on that mic over there. No, that would help that they could hear me, but I can't see the chat. I was able to read one, but... Oh, okay. You want me to read stuff to you? Sure. What are people talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Can we put up a new poll, Dan? Um, yes, we can put up a new poll. Sorry, Terry. Can we get people's votes on whether they've had them or not? What do they think we are going to like better, Cadbury or Milo hot chocolate? And is it pronounced Milo? Am I saying that right? Or do you pronounce it some weird Australian way? I feel like you guys probably call it Miles. Because <coughs> everything like gets these cute little nicknames where you don't pronounce the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I just like C-A-D-B-U-R-O-R-Y. One R. Will they like Milo or hot chocolate better? Or, or Cadbury? Milo or Milo, which is it? Someone spell it phonetically for me, please. Will they like Milo or Cadbury hot chocolate better? That's it? That's it? Yes. But what if we're sporting can't be split because there's three of us? Exactly. Unless we get Blake. All right. Okay, so we're starting to come to a boil here. You guys can see it's gently boiling around the edges. We're going to boil this for one minute. Did anyone smell it? Spell it phonetically for me? It's just M I L. Stephanie did. It's Milo. Thank you. Okay. Oh, like Milo. My friend, my favorite tattoo. And we Chris, right off the bat, eighty-four percent people said Cadbury. Yeah, how many votes do we have in? Um, thirty votes. Seventeen percent with the Milo. Milo. The Milo, my bad. <laughs> All right, I think it's been about a minute. I think we're probably good. So we're going to remove this from the heat. 
We're going to, I think I have to whisk it in because it's going to be powdery. Uh, Amanda says, we'll travel to Illinois next week for a celebration of a service for Chris's aunt. They have snow today to be in the 70s this week. This week in 50s and 60s weather. It's going to be effing cold. I just came from Michigan where it was all frozen and, and cold. So, uh, yeah, you should probably take uh, take some warm weather stuff because when that cold turns on you, it, like, goes right through your body. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes. When I went out there in October, I, I was not prepared for that kind of cold. Like, I had my sweater, but it, I, it's colder than a sweater. Um. Adele says um, Milo and hot, hot chocolate are two very different things. Are they? I thought you can't really, though you, so you can't really compare them. Okay. I, I thought was, Milo was more like uh, Nestle Quick. I didn't know you made hot chocolate out of it. I don't think you do. No? I don't know. That's it. Let me see. It's like Ovaltine. Australians, I need to know, do you make hot chocolate out of Milo or do you just make chocolate milk out of it? I should have sifted my powdered sugar. Pro tip, guys, if you're making this, sift your powdered sugar. You can go stand over there and address people, Harry. I don't want this for the land of Is there a hot chocolate recipe on there? The great hot or cold, it says. Okay. 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 What's the chat say? Dan? What's that? What's the chat say about it? Uh, 80% Calgary, No, what is, what are the chat saying? Are any of the Australian um, people chiming in about it? Uh, Steve said Australia might say things weird, but at least they measure things normally in metric. <laughs> I can't um, argue with that. It's not our fault. It's what they teach us, Steve. Steve's about to have mud season where he's at, for sure. Yes, uh... Okay, can we get a camera over here? Charlie oh, says you can make it hot or cold. Okay, so you just want to mix this up. You can see it's starting to kind of thicken a little bit. Um, there are still kind of clumps of powdered sugar, so you do want to sift your powdered sugar. Oh, I always forget that step because I make this like once a year. Can you go that way just a tad? There you go, right there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, it's starting to thicken up and it's going to set, so I need to get the uh, the cans into here. Into the juice? Yes. Stephanie says, you can have hot chocolate out of Milo's uh, spoon in however much you want. Usually a ladle. What's a, <laughs> what's a, what's a ladle's worth? Probably about four. <laughs> this is a ladle. <laughs> See, so, the whole, so the whole can fits in there? <laughs> <laughs> Roughly give or take. <laughs> I've never heard a measurement of a ladle. I love it. Okay. So, pecans are in. Again, you guys can see it's starting to thicken up. You don't want to spoon it out when it's still this liquidy because it'll just pancake and get completely flat. So you do want to let it really start to set more than this. You're moving me around, Dan. Sorry, I don't know what I just did on accident. <laughs> All right, let me grab my big pan. Hila Husky says, never had Milo. I think it's just an Australian thing. We have some from what uh, Helen sent us. <laughs> uh, Jason says, these are pecans. These are pecans. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I can never remember which one sounds better to me, and then whichever one I say always sounds wrong. Sorry, it's blurry for a second. Sorry, hold on. But now I'm never gonna think of, never not gonna think of cans of peas, so thank you. Pecan, pecan, pecans, pecans? Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember. This is great, you're doing it. I am doing it. Like can I have a pecan hand? No. You just give me a high five with that spatula? Absolutely not. It's hot, Dan. It was just boiling like three minutes ago. What about a download too slow where I move out of the way at the Get last Get out of here. It won't work. You'll be mad. That stuff will just stick to you and keep burning again. Well, it'll be like a dog. <laughs> and then it'll burn you in your side of your mouth. <laughs> 47 votes. 83% says Cadbury over Milo. We're in this poll. I will say, if you guys missed it, we did talk about it previously. Dang, man, you made a mess. I know, but I couldn't deal anymore. <laughs> Clearly. Don't worry, I'll take care of that later. 
Um, was it Nancy that sent us this? I believe so. We had the Ghirardelli chocolate hot oh, cocoa. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is amazing, you guys. Do not buy Swiss Miss. F that B. Get this stuff. This is where it's at. But we'll see how these two compare to that. Aaron says, ha ha, my dad would go into the pantry and bring me a pecan whenever I said that. <laughs> I've never heard about that joke till right now. No, I'm never going to not think of that. Pecan. Pecan. Dan behave. I'm on my best Dan behavior. And my last week of adventure, I need everybody to hit that like button. Thank you so much. It does help with the algorithm and the things and the stuff. If you guys hit that thumbs up under the video there. Oh, so you're done with the oven, right? Or the stove cam? Yes, we are done over there. Yeah, and turn off that mic. Oh, it's really warm in here. Yeah, you want some air? Could you? Is it is it too audible? After that, not you. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Chris is here. Happy No Pants Tuesday, everybody. Uh, two things, Chris. One, I'm wearing pants. So is every well, everybody in this room is wearing pants, and it's not Tuesday, friend. <laughs> but thanks for joining us. We're uh, almost done, actually. All right, so you can see it is definitely starting to thicken up and kind of get glossy. We are about there. I always do it too soon, and I have to tell myself to stop and wait until it's thick enough that it'll set as a, a little bit. There's the mooch. Lay down. Uh-uh. You're, Lay you're to late to your seats, sir. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he was, but here he is now. The little Batman ears on the screen. Wait, pants and not Tuesday? That would explain some of the looks I got today. <laughs> so you can kind of see, if you look in the pan and see like when I stir it and it kind of slides right back, it's still a little gooey. So we still want to let it thicken up just a little bit more. I'm trying to stir it so it, it cools evenly. But it is starting to kind of coagulate and come together. Oh my god, I just want to eat a big old spoonful of this. It might be Tuesday where he is. No, we're in the same uh, uh, daylight savings or lack thereof right now. Here, okay, uh, somebody asked where you got those mats at. Husky Mom brought them. The, the Silpat mat? Yeah, I put them on here. Thank you, yes. Yeah, if you guys ever want to know where any of the stuff I use on the show comes from, um, mostly Amazon. And you can find it in uh, at gettingbakedwithcrystal.com. Real easy to remember. Just at thor.com to the end, at the end of the show name. Um, the mats are right on that front page. Yes. there uh, There's links to all the stuff um, directly on Amazon. And if you purchase through those links, we do get a couple of little pennies from every purchase. Even if you don't purchase the item that you click through to get to Amazon, if you're purchasing anything on Amazon, you need to get your kids some diapers. You need to get... Uh, what else do people buy on Amazon? Are you assuming that the kids need the diapers? I would hope their kids nice. are wearing diapers. Uh, you can buy anything on Amazon. Yeah, whatever you're buying on Amazon, um, if you click through our link, we get pennies off of your purchase. Yes, we, you. Not your pennies. Amazon gives us their pennies. So it doesn't cost you anything else. Okay, so you just take a spoonful. And you do that. That's literally all there is to it. How easy could this possibly be? You can make them whatever size you want to. I guess these are kind of big. I usually make them kind of small when I do them for Christmas baking, so they can take up some space, like filler space in the uh, containers. Oh no, it wants to focus on your hand. There. Mooch wants to know what's going on. Yeah, sorry Mooch. <laughs> you can just see his little head popped up on the, in the camera there. I'm excited. And then these don't go back in the oven, right? No, these will set for about a half an hour and then they're ready to peel off and eat. <laughs> no, Mooch. I need your help. There you go. You just stay right there. Super easy. Yeah, it is All starting right. to set in the pan, Hurry. so I need to. It smells so good. Go a little bit quickly here. Can one set in the hand? No, it's freaking hot, Dan. What if that's my birthday present, and then you don't have to buy me anything for my birthday? Because <laughs> you're gonna forget by November, and that's not gonna work. All right, fair enough. You're gonna ask for ten oh, more birthday presents between now and then. Probably. Uh, let me help you, Mooch. 
There you go. Let me help you remember that you can't be on the kitchen counter. No, I was counter. just trying to like get him in his little on his little mat or his little uh, bed here. You have to stay here. You can't. Nope. No, I know, but you can't until you have your dinner. Uh, stay. Oh my gosh. Uh, can you put them in the fridge? Um, you probably could. I, I don't want to eat them cold, though, so I like to just let them sit for the half hour. They set pretty quickly. Can cats have pecans? I don't know, but he don't get any. No, this is all variants of sugar. He doesn't need any of this. So all that, and that's how many that you make with all that? Yes. But they're, you can make them a little bit smaller. And they're pretty rich, so it's not like you need to eat ten of them. <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> no, no. Come over here. No, I'm not going to eat that off your finger in front of everybody. Get over here. We need a reaction. Do you have to look like that while you do it? I mean, I don't need you to make this sexy or anything, but don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? That was good. It does need a set, though. Uh, that makes quite a few. Let's see. 4, 8, 9, 10, 14, 18, 21. Mm-hmm. How's your foot, Dan? Um, it's doing well. It's it's uh, definitely, like, better than it was One a couple days friend? ago. Dan, weird? I know, huh? Hi, Crystal the Animal Lover. It's so good. No, Dan, it's lava napalm right now. I know. It would have burnt a hole in my hand, <laughs> huh? You know what it makes me think of? Hmm. He can pie dust. Pie guts. dust? Guts. <laughs> guts, yes. Yeah, it does have kind of a pecan pie. Let's try to remember you guys, pecan pie. We wouldn't want to offend the Midwesterners. How, how come you say it like, like Jeeves? Pecan. Mm, yes. <laughs> pecan. pecan. Yes. Is that all? Let's <laughs> We could say pecan. Terry went back for more. I'm licking the bowl. <laughs> Go for it. Don't judge me. Um, not going to lie, I'm probably going to make another batch of these. Um, <laughs> there's a strange lady in your kitchen. She's the strangest of ladies, and I love her. <laughs> strange. Uh, Hannah says, I'm a Midwesterner, and I say it both ways. There's no wrong way unless uh, Jason's coming for you, apparently. Hi, Chris. Hi, Crystal. Chris, yeah, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> get him, guys. Get him. Oh, that is the Terry people have mentioned. Yes, yes, it's my bestie. She's out here for the weekend hanging out with us. So, um... I'm going to make another batch of these later on tonight because this weekend, you guys, I get to see two Terry's in one weekend. My bestie Terry and my favorite Aunt Terry. I shouldn't say my favorite aunt because I have lots of aunts and I love them all equally. My aunt that I have the most in common with, she's my baking aunt. Some of you guys got her cookbook and tried out some of her amazing recipes. We have made Aunt Terry's sugar cookies on the show. Um, did we make a biscotti? I think we made a biscotti on the show too, didn't we? Um... She's down uh, in Torrance, staying with my Aunt Grace. My Aunt Sue is there also. My Aunt Libby is at my mom's house. We are all getting together. We're only missing one uncle and one aunt from that collection of brothers and sisters. We're all getting together, and Aunt Terry is cooking for us. We're all very, very excited. I'm bringing some snacks. Jason says hi, Terry. Hi, He's, Jay. He spelled it wrong, too. Well, you know, <laughs> I expect that from a little brother. Right? If you dipped those in chocolate, would they be considered turtles? I think peanut uh, butters. No. Peanut butter's not in the turtles? No, turtles uh, is caramel. So that's the thing. This is not quite caramelly. It's more like brown sugary. So like Terry said, it's more like the filling of a pecan pie. It's not caramelly. Uh, turtles, if you guys don't know what a turtle is, you take, are they usually made with pecans? Yes. I think so. And you put them out like kind of in an X shape. Do you remember, Terry, when my high school boyfriend's mom would make turtles on the whole counter? Uh -huh. and? Pour out the caramel. Oh, I loved her. How come she you don't? Best thing. How, can you make them on the counter? She had. Well, I guess so. She had her kitchen redone and had a specific counter that was like lowered down. And what she had was it was it a butcher block counter in that area, Terry? I think it was. And then that was like her her baking and preparing counter. Yeah. Uh, but she'd like put her her parchment paper or whatever all over the counter, and then the she put all the nuts out on the whole counter, and then she'd pour the caramel, and then she'd pour the chocolate. So yeah, um, turtles are pecans, 
caramel, and then chocolate poured on top. So it would kind of be the same vibe, but this, like I said, is more crumbly and less, like, stretchy gooey. Uh, Terry, 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 whichever it is, hi. Uh, Jason says his was principality. <laughs> I would put bicarbonate of soda. That's how I know you're not American. We don't call it that. Um, baking soda, I think, is bicarbonate of soda in that. And then put the pecans in. Um, I think, I don't know, would it foam up the same way? We do that when we make the honeycomb candy. And you put that in and the whole thing foams up. And then you pour it out. And, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Bicarbonate. <laughs> bicarbonate of soda. So, yeah, that's really all there is to this, you guys. Like, we're less than an hour in and it's done, and we're even standing here, like, BSing and stuff. So, these are amazing. You should try them. I did make them kind of big this time. I, I usually make them about half this size, maybe two-thirds. Uh, Terry, did you see the Michigan words in the video from Snow Dogs Vlogs? Oh, that was forever yes. ago. That was years and years ago. Yes. Yeah, Terry watches our stuff. Yes. Terry's I a do. member. I do. Terry's been a so, member since the beginning. I remember when you did that because I have... I've had a friend who lived in Michigan and um, yes, was familiar was familiar through right. the, uh, letters. Right, so right. Some of the places it's hard because like out here we're close to Mexico, so we have a Spanish spin on a lot of the names and stuff. Well, letters uh, he would write out phonetic. He would write right. out phonetic. So when I would see whatever word it was, you know, whatever Mackinac with a C at the end of it. The right, right. <laughs> Why? Like this and like that was very informative. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's uh, Native American mm -hmm. roots of the words, so we don't really know how to pronounce those out here. Yeah. You want to try the hot chocolate? We can do that, yeah. We'll just uh, set this aside because this just has to sit for a bit. Does anybody else have dairy questions since y'all got me? <laughs> you want to come on over here? Yeah, you have to go to that side. Oh, man. If you guys want to know the real deal about me from my best friend for over 25 years. The real years, deal I'll about never, you. Listen, <laughs> like, what are you hiding? I'll never tell you. Don't ask me anything about personal. Yeah. <laughs> She's not, been nothing but an angel and pure this entire time. They know that's a lie. <laughs> they know that's a lie. I wasn't there. <laughs> I didn't see a thing or hear a thing. But what was the first thing I ever said to you? Um, well, so we were in, <laughs> in the history of talking. In the this history of, like, we, we had a class together, but we didn't really talk. Look, have you seen my resting bitch face? I have been curating that since I was a small child, literally. And I did not make friends in school. I did not have a lot of friends. I wasn't there to make friends. I just was trying to get through the shit and get out. So I was probably sitting there like this. Because that's how I looked. Milk to class. <laughs> I bought a gallon of milk because this teacher used to make us all breakfast at the end of the semester or quarter or whatever. And I am cereal fiend and I wanted cereal. <laughs> so I brought a gallon of milk and Crystal said, yeah, that'd be a really good idea if I was a cat. Because <laughs> that's the kind of attitude I have. And uh, we've been best friends ever since. Ever since. Ever <laughs> since. Because this is how I work. I'm kind of sassy. And if you're okay with that, then we're friends. And if you're not, well, then you can just F write the F off and then we're done. It was done. hilarious. <laughs> right? It was hilarious. How could I not be your friend? Pretty much. Also, I'm very much the same way. So, uh, Brittany says, what was your first impression of Crystal? She was a bitch, but I liked it. <laughs> I don't like question. normal girls. It's hard to girl. I, cause I'm not a girl girl. I'm a girl boy. Like <laughs> right. that also always smells amazing. Like 50 different things like a girl and Terry comes out of the shower and this cloud of like <laughs> flowers and hearts comes out behind her and she's got all the makeup and she spends an hour yeah. plucking and, and it's fluffing true. and, and Ooh, patting. I don't, have to, and I don't have to paint the eyebrows anymore though. Oh yeah, you got a microblade. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy. It sounds um, crazy. So on the inside, she's not a girl at all. Not on the all. outside, she's one of the girliest girls that I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't really know how to do makeup or anything. I do. Terry's got, like, all the Jeffree Star and can I tell do. you exactly which one to put where with which brush yep. and how hard and when it comes out and uh -huh. I just... <laughs> how to wash off the work paint, too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, Holly wants to know, who is your favorite cat and have you pet Kitty? Yes, I pet Kitty first. You did. Yes, absolutely. You stayed... Last time Dan went to Michigan, you yeah. came for the weekend, and, uh -huh. and Blake was here, so you slept in the bed with me, uh -huh. and you and Kitty just became best friends somehow during that. Me and Kitty became that. best friends. Me yeah. and Kitty became best friends, and she even remembered me all these months yeah. later. She was the first person not in our household to be able to pet Kitty. And I didn't even know her before a few years ago. Right? Yeah. yeah. But definitely, um, favorite favorite aside from her currently is I, it's a mis, it's a Mr. Mooch Man. How could it not be? Right. <laughs> like, look at this guy. Even though he know. likes to squawk at one to five in the morning to wake everybody up. They see he knows I'm his. How do you not love him? Will he will he munch your knuckle? 
I smell the smoke soap crystal bought for oh. Is that the is the soap um the soap that is oh perfect. No, I haven't smelled it, but I was reading the label and I was really curious. Tell me that shit doesn't smell just like a damn apple pie. Yeah. Like you want to take a bite out of it. I do. <laughs> Hannah, I still haven't used it because I just like to sniff it. It smells really good. I keep it in my bathroom and I very often you can tell it's all like crumpled because I just open it and sniff it. <laughs> Down with you're not getting this back. <laughs> so Dan just brought us some pure maple sugar. Do we need a spoon? Yes, this was brought to me at the pet convention. No. Think, uh... Oh, it's crumbly. It's from Michigan. It came back with me. It was a nice little cubes, but then it, like, turned into one piece. Oh, my God. Wow. We are definitely huffing so... So happy soap crisp. Hi, you can't have this, boo. It's not even special soap. I mean, cinnamon apple edible soap. Okay, this tastes worse when you're breathing your fish face breath in my face. Come here, boo. So this flavor, if you guys have had pure maple sugar. That's so good. It's pretty similar to those, but like amped up. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. I want some cinnamon apple edible soap. <laughs> yeah, can you make it edible, Hannah? Let is me that clean my insides. Clean my insides. I can't think of a better way. Uh, that must have been from Hannah Willis because she said, "Glad the maple candy made it to Hot California." Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Looks like Dan sat on it, but no, this one's Rizzo's. Yeah, you can't give away Rizzo's smooch. So fire. I know, right? Say more words. Oh, Brittany, you love my voice. Yeah, thank you, thank you for sending that. It's been a long time since I've been down here. That's for sure. I used to make way it more has. trips. You, you did, even though you were the same distance away. Terry used to live in Arizona and drive six hours just on a whim. Like, she has no problem just driving six hours. And then Not she moved problem, to Sacramento no. and uh, still just drives six hours to get here. Uh, Athena says, I've been binge-watching binge RFS Dan videos and also binge-watching Gone to the Snow Dogs vlogs. You will probably see Terry in some of those videos. There were times I went down there and uh, vlogged with you. We didn't see each other for a bunch of bunch of years, so there's one called uh, Reunited, and it feels so good. Yeah, and that was the first that was uh, vlog you made an appearance in. Oh, when I oh when I had hair down on my all you down did. my back. <laughs> yes. I had hair to my waist. Crystal knows me as being ball headed. <laughs> like <laughs> you've had I'm, every variation of hair. Your hair was pretty similar to this cut when I met you, but it was much more orangey. Yeah, because we like didn't know brassy, about toner. Brassy in orangey. Oh, but I loved it. Like yeah, it was it the best. I still love it. Um, and then. From then on, from 1997 on, it just got shorter and shorter and shorter. There was a mohawk at one point. Yes. And then it was completely shaved. Yeah. And then I didn't see you for, for a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of years because you were too far away. We still talked the whole time. There was no like, oh my God, we weren't friends for a bunch of years. We still talked the whole time. Yeah. Um, and then when I saw Terry again, her hair was like down to here. And it's curly, so you know it was really like down to here. It was long. <laughs> it's so long. I framed the cats there. Oh, oh thanks. Um, these, by the way, thank you, Linda. They are uh, pocket pillows. <laughs> nice. Linda sent these. I was going to that. Nip. Thank you. Hey. So, um, proof that Terry and I have been friends forever. We uh, went to the mall and had our photo taken at the mall, like people did with yes. <laughs> the starry backgrounds. This is my favorite picture of us. This was literally like, what, 1998, 99, somewhere around there? At the mall. At, At the, the mall. mall. We went to the mall and posed. We did. Oh, that might be 99, because I think that's when I came back from um, San Francisco from it with that dumb boy. <laughs> with that dumb boy. Which dumb boy, Terry? There's been a lot of dumb boys. At 19, it was the one dumb boy. <laughs> you know, that one dumb boy who can't let go? <laughs> that one. Uh... Alexis with the super chat, thank you so much. Says, hi friends, how are you today? I miss you. Are you going to do any merchandise of the cats? Your pralines look yummy, but my mom can't cook. Oh, no, look. <laughs> you don't have to be able to cook to make these. It's it's foolproof. It's really, really easy. Is she eating them? Sometimes she doesn't like those. Let me see if Katie wants some. She ate it. Hi. She swallowed it. There's nobody in the kitchen to eat the snacks on camera anymore. Moving yeah, Topo's, um, Topo goes back and forth, but at the moment, you can see if he wants to come out of Blake's room. He's hiding in Blake's room because oh, he's scared of Terry being probably here. wants to. Him and I have bonded really well. I don't know Have you? Happened. Okay. He might just be still in there and the door's shut. Um, I lost the mouse, so I can't go back. So, Alexis, you don't have to be able to cook. This is not a gourmet meal. This is super easy to make. You, like, just mix three things on the stove and stir them up. If you can boil water, you can make this. Yes. You should give it a shot. Yeah. 
I lost the mouse. There it is. Okay, okay. I lost Topo. I'm sorry. He's not <laughs> uh, Chris says it's baby ginger snap. F you, Chris. Um, Chris the animal lover says the picture is cute. It is, isn't it? Hannah's rocking her mohawk right now. I love it. You were totally rocking it. Uh, yeah, Jess, I... with the super chat, I made it! Time to get baked! Thank you so much for the support, friend. Uh, we're done baking. Hi, Jess. <laughs> You're late. Um, did you move my mouse again? Uh, nothing. Uh, Terry's, Terry's, uh, pumping up Brittany's comment. Yes, it says uh, we don't age. <laughs> we do kind of look pretty much exactly the same as we did then. Don't Tell my bit. joints and my kneecaps. <laughs> um, if you look at us up close, you can see, you know, a little bit, little bit of wrinkles. But yeah. I try not to smile because smiling gives you wrinkles, and that's how I keep my youthful face. That's funny. That's I try true. Not to smile because I'm missing half my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. But I will. If you want to call yourself out. But uh, pro life tip, you guys smiling gives you wrinkles. Just know this. Um, my last week adventure says, Me and my bestie have been friends for over 30 plus years. That's awesome. I love that. It's really cool to have a friend you've been friends with for like ever. Uh, Megan's rocking her mohawk tonight as well. Awesome. Yes. Nothing is foolproof. I tried cooking, says Uncle Yukon. Friend, can you boil water? Can you? Because if you can boil water, you can make a meal. Get air fryer, you're instant chef. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Uh, Uncle Yukon also has no wrinkles from no smiling. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you for reminding us. Uh, we are doing a hot chocolate battle. We are comparing Cadbury. Do you want to get your tea machine out to boil water? Sure. Otherwise, we got to do it in a pot, and then there's pouring and splashing, and I'm probably going to burn myself, and I'd really rather not. Uh, Jess says, my besties from high school all just left from another epic game night. I'm hoping later we can talk Terry into some games. We've got a bunch of new games, Terry. So I was talking to uh, my friend Nanda came over last weekend. I don't know if she's watching. I haven't seen her in the chat, but um, happy birthday to her daughter, Natalie. I told her I'd give her a shout out on the show, but I haven't seen them in the chat. So I don't know if they're here. Um, she turns nine today. So happy birthday, Natalie. She came over last weekend. I'm like, oh my God, we've been getting a ton of new games. And she's like, don't you have all the games? No, no, no. We have like Monopoly and Sorry and, and Clue and all that stuff. Terry, we've got new games you don't know nothing about that are lots of fun. Oh, whoa. Mooch almost flipped his bed and went down with it. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Yukon says, I can burn water. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> you might want to tend to that. Steve says, I'm still friends with my high school besties, but I also make new besties, too. Ooh, sometimes when you have cats and probably huskies, little tufts of hair go floating through. <laughs> All right, I got water boiling. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? We're making, are we well, making three chocolates with the Ghirardelli, or we're not wasting that sweet, sweet Ghirardelli? Yet? <laughs> we know that's the shiznit. Right. I have a new coffee cup. I need to um, wash it. But Terry brought me a new cup. Pretty simple. But look, you guys. It has a cat inside of it. <laughs> it's pretty cute and I love it. Did you get one out for Terry too or F Terry? No, I was going to let you pick the third one. Oh. I thought you were not going to let Terry have any. No, of course Terry gets some. Look, you can see in our cupboard. You yeah, can that's see weird. My... Why would you do that? What? Why would you leave that open for people to see inside our messy cupboard? You can, let's organize. Look, there's a D20 mug. There's shut the fuck up cake mugs. There's a Dan glass. Yeah, I think Terry's there's getting the glass. shut the fuck up cakes. Okay. I have my I have my coffee cup in the car. It says chaos coordinator. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you walk all the way down there to go get your coffee cup. I've got a. I just baked you some shut the fuck up cakes. I love that. I should take that chaos coordinator to the club. <laughs> Uh, Chris says, I'm allergic to friends. They make me break out in sarcasm and smartassery. Look, if your friends aren't down for your sarcasm and smartassery, are they really, really friends? friends. <laughs> Beer Bug says, I don't have any wrinkles because fat don't crack. I ain't mad either. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> See, I knew Crystal. If I gained 10 pounds, I'd look 10 years younger. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, my cup is ready. So Dan's cup is ready. There's so a we bunch of all day taste three whole cups of hot chocolate. No, that's what I was just thinking. We should make two cups and then we can each taste them. Like I'm not afraid yes. of your mouth germs. No. All right, but I need a dry test too. So we need spoons so we can test them dry. You know, like you're just gonna eat a spoonful of it. Yeah. Well, I have to test the product. Oh, I think I need a paint key to get into this I know, one. Right? Here it is. <laughs> Cinnamon challenge, Dan. Why do you? Hey, hey, Australians. Why do you make your? Uh, Chocolate powder so hard to get into. Why does it be, have to be a paint can? It's got to be from the it kangaroos. It keeps the kangaroos out. Keeps the kangaroos yeah, out. Keeps the kangaroos out. Look, even okay. Hang on. 
Before we judge the, the chocolate itself, we're going to judge the packaging. So first of all, Australians, you've got a paint can lid. Did, I don't know if you guys saw what was going on here. You had to like pry it up. Mooch, stop. You have to pry this up. There's no easy way to get into it. You got to use the back of the spoon. And then what? Am I just supposed to like gnaw into it? What's happening here? Yeah, it's supposed to puncture it. Cadbury. It fits inside the edge of the, the can here. It's got a little lip you can just grab onto and pull. That was easy. It's got a little tab. How easy was that? Am I right? Back up. This is chocolate. It's not even for you. So oh, I'm so excited. Right off the bat, I'm much more on board with with uh, Cadbury's packaging. I was gonna smack my way through it. Dan. Yeah. That's not what, what you're supposed to do through life. No, you're just so I'm right just running my nail along the outside of it, so it's got a clean. Uh, the of the spoon. You have the built-in can opener for fingernails. I do. <laughs> Except then, when you try to pull it out, it just pushes in. Yeah, I'm not a fan of your packaging here, guys. Is this the way it is always packaged, or this just like a certain packaging for this size? What's going on? Um, so now chocolate has gotten outside of the the lip of this, and like, how do you get that back in? Right. What's, so that so points for uh, Cadbury. Yeah, points for Cadbury just for their their packaging. I approve of their their packaging more than Milo's. I'm ready for my taste test. Oh yeah, because you want it dry. Yeah. To eat powder. Yeah, we talked earlier about. Can we not make it a cinnamon challenge? Like this much? Yeah, I just want to taste it. Okay. Oh my god, Dan! I gotta taste it. The mm. Cadbury is much lighter. Oh my gosh. Does yeah. it taste like Cadbury oh candy? Oh my gosh. Is that really good? Oh my gosh. I'm a fan okay. of Cadbury chocolate. Now try Milo. Terry, do you have any interest in eating it dry? I don't no. want your slobbery <laughs> spoon back. That, yeah. you have to try some of that. Oh I'm not gosh. eating it dry. Oh my gosh. And then when it comes to life, it just turns melty in your mouth. Also, I'm thinking milk might be better. Um, when I make hot chocolate, I usually use boiling water and then oh. top it off with milk. Oh. I'm saying for the Milo, I read the can. That tastes like dog biscuits. Does it? it I like mean, I'm not surprised. I've tasted your Vegemite. It tastes like cornmeal. Vegemite's made out of bonzo beans. Okay, let's see... Do we have an ingredient list? Okay. Extract know. of malt or barley, malt barley or malt barley and rice. They're, they're not even sure. <laughs> they, they, guys, you don't even know what's in here. It's either extract of malt barley or malt barley and rice. Whatever we scraped up off the floor. Not really sure. Milk solids. Cheese? Cheese is The, the curdled bits. I want solid milk. Sugar, cocoa, okay. minerals. Calcium and iron, maltodextrin, corn. All right, it was uh, like you were right. There's there's corn in here. It tastes like corn, and, wait, and it ate like grape nuts. And, <laughs> and vitamins C, B3, B6, B2, D, and B12, emulsifier, and gluten, milk, and soy. I'm telling you, this is the best thing ever. The texture of the powder is amazing. Okay, ingredients here: sugar, cocoa powder, acidity regular, which is potassium carbonates, and flavoring. Crystal, please. Please, I haven't steered you wrong in a while. I don't like to. Oh my gosh! And just let it melt in your mouth, not in your hands. And it's just gonna turn. Oh, I know. It's just I can't believe it. And it's the finest powder from like the it beach. It really is. Oh my gosh! From the beach, the finest powder from the beach. Yeah, but of like, powder, like sand. Oh my gosh! Milo has got no. The Milo has got from the beach is called sand. Dan. Is that what it is? But it's beautiful. Okay, Stephanie suggested that we ladle this. This suggests that we swirl three heaping teaspoons of Cadbury drinking chocolate into a mug of hot semi-skimmed milk. So it does suggest milk, but Dan can't have milk. Yeah, but this Dan is will just die a little beautiful. If he has milk. I want to melt a sandcastle with it and then eat it. Okay, I prefer to put the the powder in first. Yeah. So heaping teaspoons. One. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Two. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Three, uh, uh. And I don't want to uh, taint our taste test by using that spoon. So this one suggests that you throw it in the trash. I don't know what's going on with Steve, but he declares this free Willy Friday. <laughs> Is this true, Crystal? Do you decree that too right now? Are we still talking about no pants? I think so. <laughs> Chris said, uh, because I said it's no, not no pants Tuesday, he needs to put that Canadian package away. 
Uh, this also says three heaped teaspoons of Milo into a glass. Add cold or hot, not boiling, skim milk, and stir. We're not doing milk, guys. Sorry, Dan's lactose intolerant. It's not happening. It's all right, because nobody's going to like anything else but the cat. This eat. is gritty as hell, It was, it was it? grape nuts when I ate it. Uh, yeah, I can feel just putting the spoon but in it. Also, it's not as smooth. This is marketed as a little bit of, like, it's got stuff in it for you, right? Like, it does have, like, vitamins and stuff. I think most Australian stuff does. They try to get some health. But you're right. This is, like, super fine, like, the... Beaches with the super clear water kind of sand, and this it's is like was, the beaches with some cigarette butts and and used condoms. I have oh wow, <laughs> I have right. I have never had a more pleasurable time eating powder. Like <laughs> right, didn't that wasn't that powder just so I, good? I will say it, yes. It, I can't argue with it. It just it was amazing powder. It powdered well. Uncle, you got some vitamins equals dirt clumps. It is vitamins <laughs> equals dirt clumps. Can I top it off with milk, Dan, or do you? Yeah, just want, no, okay. you're fine. Let's give it the best chance of it being... I usually put, like, three rounds of marshmallows in it, too, but we're, we're going to keep it pure so we don't uh, muddy up the flavor of the, the cocoa-ness. So, this one, like, has bubbles coming out of it. Like, it's actively bubbling. I'm not sure what's happening here. Air escaping the powder. <laughs> well, I understand the science of it, but it's, oh. it's like Cadbury magic. Oh, yeah, I like that better. Okay, so let's look at the difference of what we have going on in the cup here. This is this beautiful, dark, chocolatey amazingness. Couple of bubbles around the edge, no foam. This one is more of like my mom's coffee with a bunch of milk in it. And kind of has this weird foam on the top of it. I'm sorry, Australians, don't be, don't be mad at me. <laughs> No, Milo with milk only. We can't. Dan can't drink so much milk. You still, who, he'll who, die. Sorry, who did, who did I offend? Adele. Sorry, Adele. I hope you like me still. She's like stupid American. <laughs> if if we put milk in it, Dan would not be able to have it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll try some. <laughs> we, we can put like a splash just, I do the splash just to cool it down. Because otherwise it's boiling hot and then I'm not drinking it. And to be fair, they both did say to make it with milk. And so we're, we're tainting both of them. All right, what are your thoughts, Dan? My thoughts is everybody's just going to like this one because that was the best powder ever. And then <laughs> Probably. I'm going to end up drinking the rest of this, which I'm fine with. Um, I also can venture suggesting... A you should buy lactate milk. It's amazing. He does get like almond milk and stuff when he's in the mood yeah, for I it. Just he's not really else. the biggest fan. It's fine. I, 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 it's fine. Can't everyone else try it with milk? Then we gotta make a whole other batch of it, and we need we need to have our our uh, our tasting be on like level playing field. All right, guys. You want to taste first, Dan? No, go ahead. No, come taste. This was, this was your bit. Well, I just don't want to burn myself. All right, you I'm going with the. Burn yourself. I'm going with the Milo first. That's hot. It's hot. It tastes like generic hot chocolate mix, like generic hot chocolate. Mix. Like Swiss Miss. Yeah. And then the aftertaste is a little bit like corny. And then, like in ten seconds, you'll have an aftertaste of like a dog biscuit. Terry, come try some of this. Why do you guys drink that? It's very hot. But it's because it's got stuff. It's like, it's got like, look at it. Like, then you play volleyball afterwards or whatever it is on it's here. It's not very sweet. It's not? It's not very chocolatey? It's got vitamins and minerals, so that's probably, I'm probably eating rocks. Low GI Triple Joe levels. Chocolate that got outside Protein. So it's got, spill. it's got like stuff. It's got like, oh, it's got like stuff on it. There. Like it stuff. Off. Oh, cool. There it goes. Yeah, it's got, like, stuff in it. So it's not, you know, it's a little bit halfway good for you. All right. Now for the good stuff. I'd put so much sugar in that. In that thing you would? Yeah. Yeah. Is it's, it like li a, it's like a liquid candy bar. Is it? Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of the best thing ever. Um, no contest. Here. At all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. <laughs> we might have to revisit this though with milk to give each one a fair shot. Oh my gosh. 
It's, 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 it's like a damn candy bar. It's still, I can still love So, um, yes, Linda, thank you. You win by far. Sorry, Australians. Um, you guys have this palette for things like Vegemite. But this was different, though. This was still it not is. compared to this. Uh, but I don't care whether we're comparing it or not. That's not good. It's like, it, oval, well, you know what it reminds me of? Like an American Ovaltine. I don't think okay. I ever had Ovaltine. Well, Ovaltine was a lot much okay. like that. Okay. I but it, like it's it's not good. <laughs> it's not good, you guys. I'm sorry. It's I'm not try- good. I'm trying. Yeah, BRM Bug says it sounds like Ovaltine. It tastes like lies. Like it, it's it all like, like lies. it's all like cornmeal <laughs> tasting. Um, uh, Mouse Adventure gonna... says, "Where can I get Cadbury Hot Cocoa ASAP?" Oh, I don't know. I got it from my friend in England. I don't know if you can get it here. You probably get it on Amazon. I'd check yeah, maybe. You get everything on Amazon. Let's see. I think I need some more Ovaltine, please. Yes, yeah, Chris, no. <laughs> Ovaltine wasn't good. Sally, I'd never had Ovaltine. I would see it around. <coughs> uh, my last week adventure says Ovaltine is amazing. Did you probably like this? Uh, what's Blake's opinion? Hold know. on. Y'all just call it drinking chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> um, Linda, are you still here? Is drinking Cadbury drinking chocolate different than Cadbury hot chocolate, because this does not say drinking chocolate. Is that like what you would make like chocolate milk out of? Is that different? So this one you can get two of them for thirteen eighty eight, but I don't know if that's the same. I'm not seeing any hot chocolate. I'm just seeing drinking chocolate. Okay, there is uh, for fourteen something if it loads fourteen ninety six. You can get oh Dan shut off that camera. You can get Cadbury hot chocolate in an instant, uh, and it does say on this one just to stir it in hot water. I'll throw a link in the chat. So it is a thing. Blake. We are comparing the Australian Nestle Milo hot chocolate and the Cadbury hot chocolate. Please try Nestle Milo first. It is very hot. It's not like cool like how I make it. Do you guys have Cadbury cream eggs there? Yes, we get, um, at Easter time, we get the Cadbury cream eggs. We get the caramel cream eggs. I think they do a chocolate filled one. There's a handful of things like that. What are your thoughts on that independently of comparison? It's like water. It's a little bit of chocolate. Like it's not even really chocolatey, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. What do you think of the Cadbury hot chocolate? We've all now blown in it. The gaming ham says the drinking chocolate is basically the same as the hot chocolate. Okay. That one tastes like chocolate. Doesn't that taste like you just ate Cadbury candy? I don't eat Cadbury candy enough to remember. You've got six candy bars here yeah, to but, choose from. <laughs> but I don't eat I don't eat candy all the time. What's with the cat? Which would you choose if you had to choose between them? The Cadbury one. The other one just had like water, like this is like the cro- the, the croy of hot chocolate. <laughs> like, it's like you're that. drinking boiled water and somebody yelled hot chocolate from the other room. Yeah. All right, so here's the other thing we get that is really hard to find, and you can only get it at Easter and only at certain stores. If you guys can find these, because it is almost Easter time, Cadbury cream egg cookies. Can we get a side camera, Dan? I've never had one. So uh, you're going to now. (laughs) So I have only found these at Target and Cost Plus World Market. Those are the two places I've ever seen these. They're Cadbury cream eggs. If you look at it up close, it is a chocolate cookie with a thin layer of Cadbury cream egg filling stuff, and the whole thing is coated in chocolate. You've had those in the fridge for so long. I always see them it. in the front of the vegetable cabinet. For some reason, they're in the vegetable cabinet. They may or may not have expired last year, but they're still good. <laughs> this might be from my first round of them. Brittany also <laughs> sent us some last year. I think these might be the ones she sent that got a little melty. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, they're falling apart. A little bit, but I bet they still taste good. There's some mold going on this one. No, there's not. It's just slightly discolored chocolate. All right, so try it out. Do you like Cadbury cream eggs? Yeah. When's the last time you ate one? A long time ago. Do you like this better? Yeah, it's easier to eat. (laughs) It is easier to eat. And I will say, if Cadbury cream eggs are too much for you, as far as like there's so much sugar in the filling and everything, these are the way to go. It's just a super thin layer. Hey Dan, can I get a side cam? A super thin layer of the filling. This one's a little melty and, and re 
coagulated. What'd you say? I like it because like that, like that wafery, whatever, like of like main cookie part. Those are amazing. All right, thank you. <laughs> Helen says, sorry, just got back. Have you made the hot chocolate with milk? You can have one, just pick it off. Wait, wait, we're going to taste test those in just a second. Um, we did make it. We did not make it with milk because Dan can't do milk. So we made it with water with a little splash of milk. Um, Helen, Sorry. do you guys have better chocolate powder there? Because you should try some better stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend. And I appreciate that you sent it to us. It does not compare. Oh, yes, please have one. Have you had one of these before? No, I haven't. Oh, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, Blake's Blake's assessment was that it's like look look the croix, the croix. However you want to pronounce it, um, where it's like you were drinking hot water and somebody like yelled chocolate from the other room. There was kind of a suggestion of a chocolate flavor, not very chocolatey. But to be fair, friend, we are comparing it to Cadbury hot chocolate, which is nectar of the gods. So. There's really no comparison, but uh, thank you. Thank you for sending it to us, but it does not compare. <laughs> they chose the British cocoa over the Aussie version. I, you guys, it, it wasn't a matter of choice. It was unanimous, first of all. Nobody disagreed with this choice. They're two very different products. Very, very different. I don't think the Milo is intended to be as chocolatey. I don't know what the intention is, but it is not chocolate. It's sporty. I don't like malted. It's sporty. It's uh, here's the problem. We don't play volleyball. If we played volleyball, we'd be more down for it. That's the problem. Okay, shall we taste test a praline, a Georgia praline, before we get out of here? That's what I made. Yes. So this is brown sugar, cream, butter, powdered sugar, and vanilla, and then we mix some pecans into it. I already forgot what you pecans, said. Pecans. Pecans. Um, <laughs> I gotta show Blake the what Jason sent me. These are pecans. These are pecans. <laughs> That's how you can remember how to say it. Um, okay, so basically once they're done, you just... They, they just pop right off. There's no... Like, they don't stick or anything. You can... If you don't have the Silpat mats, you can put it on um, parchment paper. It works just as well. Probably foil or wax paper or whatever, too. But, yeah, you just pop them right off of there. No big deal. Should I break you off a piece of one so you can try yes. it first? Okay, do you guys want to come over here and try these? Yes. There's a piece for you. I don't need a piece. I figured you wouldn't. Dan, do you just want a piece? Yes, please. I need a whole praline. Because I'm a whole snack, I need a whole snack. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Everything I want in candy. I love this. Reminds me of peanut brittle. Sort of, but it's like... Let's see if I can... Can I get a side camera, Dan? Like a soft brittle. If there was such a thing. So it's not caramelly. Let me focus. It's not gooey. It's not crumbly. It's just kind of like... I don't know how to Those describe it. They're okay. Super. They're, they're, like, they're, not bad. they're okay, as she goes back for another one. Um, those are dangerous. I like, how, um, like. I like the toastiness of the nut in it. I think it's a nice offset to the sweetness from the sugar and the butter and the richness from that. The toasty nuts, like, that's a good balance. They're definitely better when they're a little smaller and you can just pop one in your mouth. I made them a little bit bigger this time. But that's some good stuff. Yeah. Dan, what were your thoughts? I liked it. I thought it Are you mousing? Uh, yes, go ahead. I thought it was really good. Uh, Mouse Queen is here. Hello, Mouse Queen. Hi, Mouse Queen. Uh, Cadbury's did an orange cream egg at one point. Always wish they had a box with one of each flavor instead of all the same. That would be brilliant. I get the mini eggs. Yes, those are better because you can just pop it in your mouth. They're still, compared to the cookie, they're still way too much filling for me. Like, ratio. it's so sugary. Yeah, the ratio of chocolate to filling. I need more chocolate going on. That's why I love the cookies. I still my coffee. Mm, that's a good idea. Uh, Helen says, we have a lot of different options, but we make it with milk. Yes, both of them did say to make it with milk, but we don't have a um, non-dairy milk option for Dan. So we just made it with water. At least we were consistent amongst the options. 
Um, either way you choose, the queen approved. <laughs> Look, nobody can compare with Cadbury. I'm sorry. The Ghirardelli was really good too, though. That was amazing. We did not taste test this this time, but um, you should try some of this next time you want hot cocoa. I don't think we're ever buying Swiss Miss again. We're, we're, this, is a, this is now an item, like, there's lots of things where I'm like, off-brand is fine. You can't tell the difference. Um, I am not, no longer going with budget hot cocoa. We are going high-end hot cocoa. Yeah, moving on up <laughs> to the cocoa side. I think I've only ever had the hot chocolate from, those, from that, whatever. The little packets, yeah. the Swiss Miss, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, that. next time you need to have this because it tastes like a damn candy bar. Or the Cadbury. Or the Ghirardelli would be the one to, to challenge against the Cadbury. We'll yes. do that next time. Yes. Because that no. Ghirardelli one was amazing. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Jess T is here. Hello, Jess. Thank you for joining us. Uh, try it with the hot chocolate. I don't know if I can put any more sweet anything in my mouth. Honestly, I need some water. I didn't have dinner. Oh, yeah. Real food. <laughs> Helen says, forget Dan. Leave him on the outer. Try it with milk, Crystal. Um, I will definitely try it again. So the way I make hot cocoa normally... I put the powder in the bottom of the cup and I put a handful of marshmallows in there and I stir it up so the marshmallows are coated with the powder. And then I pour some hot water in it and then I put more marshmallows in it and then I pour milk in there and stir it up because I like it to be the perfect temperature right away and I can't drink hot things. And then I put more marshmallows in it and then a little splash of hot water again to like foam up those top marshmallows. So you have this layer of like fluffy marshmallows on top. So I will definitely make it that way. I don't know that I could just do it with hot milk. That's not really a thing I am, I'm down for. Uh, Hannah says, did Terry see the cross stitch I sent you? I'm sure you did. Terry, did you see my crazy cat lady on the wall? Yeah, yeah she she walks around and looks at all the new things every time she gets here. It's true. And someone, I don't know, Dan put the... We've been rotating towels out and Dan put uh, yeah, they, the they, towel... They were just cleaned. Yes, so they, the they next, got cleaned and put back into the rotation to rotate out. It's the out. next out. Yes. Um, I was going to says, I can't mix water and milk together. Yuck. But with cocoa, you can't, you can't really tell. Oh, also my pro tip for cocoa, um, use a fork. When you stir it, use a fork. I, for some reason, we were using spoons because Dan pulled them all out, but I always use a fork because you can get the stuff out of the bottom a little bit better. Whips it nicely on the top end, too. It does. Yes, it's much better. Are we, uh... Perfect. Have we done all the things? I think we've done all the things. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hot, and the air needs to go on, and I need to sit in front of it because I'm dying. It's still uh, 83 out here at 730 at night, so we're, we're ramping up for a warm summer already, although it is going to be 58 on Tuesday, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, hey Dan. Yes. We've got a super chat from Jess T. What's don't it? read it. I won't read it. Hey Dan, why was the praline late for work? Uh, why was the praline uh, late for work? Because traffic was nuts. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. The perks of living in the desert, right? Um, actually that says dessert, but I kind of do live in the dessert. <laughs> yes, it is the perks of living in the dessert. Um, I'm okay with it. It's better than snow. I don't like being wet and cold, so, you know, it's a fair trade-off. You know, we, we both, uh, have differing opinions on, on which we'd be more willing to tolerate, so. Mmm, dessert, yep. I always remember, because dessert has two S's, and you want more dessert, so it has more S's. That's my stupid little, like, mnemonic device or whatever that I use to remember. You've done a thing! Yay, I have! Wrap it up, Lisa Simpson. <laughs> I'm just here to help educate. That's tomorrow, all. Tomorrow for Dantics. Uh, yes, tomorrow we are doing a call-in show of Dantics, so get your dial-in finger ready and call in and test your trivia knowledge. Uh, Mouse Queen with the super chat. Thank you so much. Ruthlessly, ruthlessly distracted by Tron and Battle on Five stuff. Can't decide if I'm sorry yet. I'm glad that you're into that. That's cool. Because you yeah. fell down that Reed rabbit hole. If it makes you feel any better, Dan is fully in a Game of Thrones rabbit hole on his I... third rewatch and will not talk about anything but Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh. You know what? If you mention I Game of Thrones again, I'm going to make you pay the iron price. Dan, everybody. See you tomorrow on Dantics. Bye, yeah, you, oh, you, oh, you came, and you, and you, all right, it's Get you. Get out of here. Thank you all so much for hanging yes, out tonight. Bye, Let me know if you guys make these, if you try them. I also think if you guys got some vanilla ice cream and, like, kind of sprinkled this on top, that would be amazing. I don't have <coughs> vanilla ice cream because I like my ice cream with flavors. But if I had vanilla ice cream, I'd put some of this in it, and I think that would be amazing. So thanks for hanging out, and let me know if you try it. Bye, bye guys, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Night. Wait, one more. Super chat from Mouse Queen. Indeed, the Reed Rabbit Hole is hardcore. Glad to be out of it. <laughs> New rabbit holes are good, though. Yes, always. What are we doing after this? Hanging out? I'm okay. going to make another batch of these, and then I need to figure out what else I'm making to take on Sunday. i, I got to make another dessert. We need to get you some dinner. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night, Bye, everybody. guys. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.